Hi, I'm Chad with Move For Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play drop two dominant seven chord inversions starting on the fifth string. So I'm going to show you drop two dominant seven chord inversions starting on the fifth string. And in this lesson, I'm not diving into theory or explanation about drop chords. I'll have other lessons that do that. For this lesson, I just want to keep it simple, show you these inversions so that you can get them under your fingers and start using them right away. And like I said, I'll have other lessons that dive into the theory for those who need it. And I'm going to play each one of these inversions up the fretboard. And as I do, there's going to be a diagram on the screen that shows you the inversion that I'm playing. And in the diagram, it's going to show you the intervals of the chord. It's not going to show you the fingerings. Because at this point, these are more advanced chords. You should be at a level where you're able to figure out what fingerings work best for you. Because everyone's hands are different. The fingerings that work best for you might be different than what works best for me. And a lot of these inversions have multiple ways that they can be fretted or fingered. So it's also going to depend on the playing situation. Sometimes you might fret them one way, another time you might fret them another way, just depending on the song, the chords that are before and after, the transitions you need to make and all that. So that's why these diagrams are going to show the intervals, not the fingerings. And I'm going to play each one of these as C7. And I'm just showing them as C7 because it falls in a nice place on the neck. I can start down here in root position and work my way up to third inversion, just moving straight up horizontally without doubling back. But these are movable chords, there's no open strings in them, so these shapes are going to stay the same no matter what key you're playing in. So I'm just going to start with C7 in root position. So those are C7 drop two chord inversions starting on the fifth string. Start in root position and play your play up to third inversion and then back down. Once you can do that comfortably, randomize the order and that's going to ensure that you're not just learning these by muscle memory and you're able to play these no matter what order you're playing them in. If you just play them in order and that's the only way you practice them, you're going to build muscle memory based on that order you're playing, in them, playing them in. So it's important that you're able to grab any one of these at any time. And if you practice them in a random order, that's going to ensure you're able to do that. And then once you have them down as C7s, move them to the other keys. And like I said, these are movable, sh movable shapes. So the shapes are going to stay the same no matter what key you're in. You're just going to be in a different spot on the neck. But it's still really important to practice them in the other keys so that you're able to grab these quickly no matter what key you're playing in. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.